A man was sent from God whose name was John. He came to testify to the light, to prepare a people fit for the Lord. A man was sent from God whose name was John. He came to testify to the light, to prepare a people fit for the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Amen. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you. Useless 
yet my reward is with the Lord. My recompense is with my God. For now the Lord has spoken, who formed me as his servant from the womb, that Jacob may be brought back to him, and Israel gathered to him. And I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and my God is now my strength. It is too little, he says, for you to be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob and restore the survivors of Israel. I will make you a light to the nations, that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will praise you, for I am wonderfully made. I will praise you, for I am wonderfully made. O Lord, you have probed me, you know me. You know when I sit and when I stand. You understand my thoughts from afar. My journeys and my rest you scrutinize. With all my ways you are familiar. I will praise you, for I am wonderfully made. Truly you have formed my inmost being. You knit me in my mother's womb. I give you thanks that I am fearfully, wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. I praise you, for I am wonderfully made. My soul also you knew full well, nor was my frame unknown to you, when I was made in secret, when I was fashioned in the depths of the earth. I praise you, for I am wonderfully made. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, Paul said, God raised up David as king, of him God testified. I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will carry out my every wish. From this man's descendants, God, according to his promise, has brought to Israel a Savior, Jesus. John heralded his coming by proclaiming a baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John was completing his course, he would say, What do you suppose that I am? I am not he. Behold, what is coming after me, I am not worthy to unfasten the sandals of his feet. My brothers, sons of the family of Abraham, and those <coughs> others among you who are God-fearing, to us this word of salvation has been sent. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Saying, 
What then will this child be? For surely the hand of the Lord is with him. The child grew and became strong in spirit, and he was in the desert until the day of his manifestation in Israel. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So it says that uh, Zechariah and Elizabeth uh, were righteous in the eyes of God. So everything in their life is lined up with him. Righteous in the eyes of God and that they lived his commands and decrees blamelessly. That's amazing. Would that that could be said of all of us. Righteous in the eyes of God and living his decrees and commandments um, blamelessly and they're sustained in that and they're happy in that they're joyful uh, Zechariah is taking his turn uh, as his uh, his, uh, his priestly uh, clan is up for duty in the temple so they're living the good life for the Lord and it seems Zechariah's only weakness is that he really doesn't expect the Lord to break in in surprising ways like this John the Baptist represents this surprising grace gift uh, from God on behalf of humanity, which of course is going to announce uh, the word who saves us. So John's the voice that speaks the word. And Zechariah just isn't ready for that. And so he's got to ask the angel, how am I going to know? You know, that he's got to somehow sort of know it in a, in a human way or have a sign beyond an angel speaking to you about what God, uh, what God wants. So blameless, righteous uh, in God's eyes, following his commands beautifully. Uh, Zechariah just needs to know God will break into a life like that and do some pretty amazing, uh, amazing things and manifest his son eventually through that. So we can ask the Lord as we receive him in the blessed sacrament, encounter and body, blood, soul, and divinity to help us live more righteously, more blamelessly, and to expect him to break in and accomplish his will in amazing ways as by his grace we live his beautiful life. Confess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not in me, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified on the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With great trust in our Lord's goodness and mercy towards us, we bring to him our For those who proclaim the gospel, may God provide them wisdom and courage. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For those who lead nations and peoples, may they be guided by the mercy and compassion of Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For those burdened by illness or poor health, may they be led and healed by the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for all members of this community. May God's love inspire and increase us in our very gifts. We pray, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they experience true peace in the arms of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you for hearing our petitions. We ask that you use these prayers joined to the sacred heart of your Son in this Eucharist to accomplish your glory. All this we pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Who comes in the name of the Lord? 
and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of our Lord, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my word, but only say the word that my soul shall be. Through the tender mercy of our God, the dawn from on high will visit us. Through the tender mercy of our God, the dawn from on high will visit us.
the body of Christ. those who cannot be physically present. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. Having feasted at the banquet of the heavenly Lamb, we pray, O Lord, that finding joy in the nativity of St. John the Baptist, your church may know, as the author of her rebirth, the Christ who is coming, John foretold, who lives and reigns forever. Thank you. 